Hello and welcome to all of you job seekers. My name is Jessica from the Westerville Public Library and today we will be talking about job search tips and tools with Google and other resources. This quick series of videos will give you advice on things that you'll need in your job search. It'll show you how to search for a job online, how to build your job skills to make you a more attractive candidate, and other tools that you might find useful. In this video, we'll talk about the things that you'll need to have on hand before you even start your search. Show you how to get the most out of the Google Job Search function. We'll take a look at a skill building and resume help websites, applied digital skills, as well as some other helpful tools to help you in your job search. I do want to briefly address why knowing how to do this online is so important. There are many people who ask, you know, can't I just find a job the old-fashioned way through a newspaper or walking into a building and talking to someone? And that will work in some cases, but not in the majority, especially if you are looking for a non-retail, non-food service job, but are looking for a more professional and in some cases higher paying jobs. They are now overwhelmingly online. Many places, if you walk in, they will actually tell you to go online instead of speaking with them. And many HR groups are only taking online submissions, sometimes just because they are too big of an entity to do it the in-person way. And the majority, I would say, are also not putting them in print anywhere because they are on purpose only showing them through entities such as Monster.com, Indeed.com, or Google to kind of weed out those who are, are not tech savvy. So if you want to see more and better things than what you have been finding in print or in store windows, you do have to go online. Now I recommend you pause once the list here is all together and write these down because you will want to have all of these things ready when you are ready to look for jobs online. First, you will want to have a working email, meaning that you know your email address, you know the password, and you have a way to access it. If you only have a smartphone, but do not know how to access your email through it, call the library and we will help you set it up. You will want to have a working phone number. If you do not personally have a phone, then talk to a friend or family member who is willing to take phone calls and relay them in your behalf. You will want to have a list of skill and experience keywords that are often associated with the job that you want in order for you to perform a successful search. For example, if you're interested in front desk or reception work, words like receptionist, concierge, front desk, customer service, and customer relations are all words that you could use to find related job opportunities. You will want to have a resume cover letter, and references ready as a file on your computer to upload in case you need them. When you are filling out an application online, especially for a professional position, they will almost always want one or all of these things, and they will also want you to upload them on that application. I hardly ever see any more where they want you to email them the resume, so make sure that one exists. You can save it as a PDF, either on your computer, a flash drive, or again, email it to yourself so that you always have it on hand wherever you are. You can store it on a cloud storage like Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive, which we will talk about later, so that again, you can access them easily. And you may not be applying for a job that you think requires these, but it, I really recommend that you have them ready because many online applications will require that you have to load a resume, even if it's an entry-level job. You will want to have a minimum of three references on the reference sheet, or and these are people who are willing to be contacted to discuss your past performance in a job. These do not have to be managers or human resources. You can ask coworkers, but it does look good if they are one of the upper level positions. Just in case you don't have a resume or a cover letter ready, there are free tools just for that. There are free templates for resumes, cover letters, and even reference sheet on all of these utilities. You automatically have Google Docs if you have a Gmail account. If you have a Microsoft Word, it has templates built right into it. And OneDrive.com is Microsoft's online cloud storage 
with free access to Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. And for this application, you have a bunch of free resume templates and other job-related paperwork. Next, we'll take a look at how to search for a job on Google.com. To start using the Google search function for jobs, go to Google.com. Google has integrated an online job search function into their regular search engine that can help you find more jobs online. We'll start with a very generic example and a location with jobs near Westerville. Now, especially for those of you who don't have a specific job in mind, a search with those words will bring up a regular Google search result. But look for the blue box labeled Jobs. Click on it, and it will bring you to a specific Google Jobs search engine. The results here are not filtered by type, wage, date of posting, location, or anything else. You can filter using a variety of options. Under Category, you can narrow the results by the type of business. And here we'll choose Customer Service. But you can do it by Accounting, Marketing, Human Resources, or even ways that you didn't consider before you saw the categorizations available. So here are the results narrowed down by customer service. These will show you items that both have customer service in the title, description, or tag. Clicking on a specific job will show you the links that you can use to apply, as well as more information about the jobs and employers. Clicking on the title limiter will allow you to narrow your search by job position title, but it will also introduce you to positions that you might not have known existed. Location will help you find jobs based on how far you want to travel for work. This may be especially important for those with limited transportation or for those who want to only work from home. The date posted feature can save you a lot of time and effort by only showing jobs that have been posted within a certain date range. This will help you find the most recent jobs and help you filter out those that have already been filled. Do you need a part-time, a full-time, or even a contract job? Use type to narrow your results even further. Company type can help those who are interested in working in a particular field. Narrow the results to things such as finance, retail, and other distinct kinds of jobs. Employer allows you to see the names of the companies that you are boasting. If you see a job that you're interested in, but maybe you don't have the time to apply at that moment, you can save the job by clicking the bookmark feature. You do have to be signed into a Google account to save a job, but if you don't have a Gmail account and you don't want to make one, you can also click share or those three dots beside the word save to email a link to the job to your existing email address. The first search was generic and based on jobs near Westerville. Now let's look at a specific kind of job, receptionist near Westerville or wherever you want to work. I'm putting reception with an asterisk so that it will find all variations of the word, like reception, receptionist, reception desk. Now we look at the results, and I see here that it says administrative assistant. I actually like this word better, so I am going to change the search from receptionist to administrative assistant. And this will give me different results. Again, looking at the results, I'm going to narrow the search and use the filters for location, and I want a full-time job. Looking at the results, I want to stop seeing medical offices, so I'll put minus medical in the search box to get rid of those. 
and I do want newer results, so I'll limit it to a week. I'm going to try another example. And this time we'll look for data entry jobs. If you start a new search, by the way, you will have to reapply the filters each time. Looking at the results, So scrolling through the results, there are a lot of work from home, and surprisingly, I don't want to work from home. So I'll put minus, and then the phrases work from home or work at home in quotation marks, and it should get rid of all of those results. And now you can see the results for full-time data entry that are not work from home. You can create email alerts for the kind of jobs you want by clicking the alerts are on for the search on or off, or by saving a particular job. Then you can go to your saved jobs and see them listed there. And then you can click alerts and choose how frequently you would like to receive a list of the kind of jobs that, that fit those search terms. You will receive those alerts in your email. So as a reminder, when typing in the terms you will use, first, Start simple in order to show more results, such as typing in jobs near me or you know, marketing jobs near me. Think about the way that jobs are described. What are the titles of the positions that you're looking for? And learn from the results, like receptionist or administrative assistant, and use the words that they use in the advertisements themselves. So write them down and use them in future searches. Boolean logic is the combination of words and other tools that help narrow, narrow down search results. So for an example, putting and will make sure that both of the terms show up, such as restaurant and manager, if that's the only, if you want to be a restaurant manager. Putting or between two words means that both terms don't need to be in the results, but one of them does, such as marketing or advertising. Quotations make sure to look for an exact phrase. So say you are say you want to do something with social media, then that'll make sure that it'll only bring up social media posts or jobs. And then parentheses, make sure that the search terms are always found together, such as administrative assistant or reference librarian. So make sure to try the Google Jobs search function. Play with the filters and learn from the results. The more you play with it, the faster you will get usable results. Applied Digital Skills is a new site by Google that helps people build the digital skills that they need for both everyday use and for any job that they might need. To begin, search for Applied Digital Skills on Google. Then once there, scroll down the page until you see Adult Learners. and then click View All Video Lessons. Click Adult Learners again, and you'll see a variety of classes and lessons ranging from 45 to 90 minutes to courses lasting several hours. All of these can be broken up and done at your own speed. You can learn marketable job skills with Google products or learn specific ways, tools, and strategies to help you with your job search. To start a course, click on the box and then click Start. 
You do not need a Google account to view the material, but you do need an account if you want to keep track of your progress and pick up where you left off from one session to the next. Each course consists of bite-sized videos that come with subtitles if needed. Signing in requires both a Google account and a specific account just for applied digital skills. Here are some of the other classes available on applied digital skills that might interest those that are searching for a job. So go and try out Google's Applied Digital Skills for more tools that can positively impact your future career. Now we're going to look at some more skill building resources that exist at your local library and online. First is the website ohiomeansjobs.com. This has links to classes and local workshops, as well as online trainings and other resources. Ohio Means Jobs also has centers in each county meant specifically to help job seekers. Every public library in Ohio now also has access to lynda.com for free. lynda.com is sometimes also called LinkedIn Learning. This has video classes for every skill level, industry, software type imaginable. It even has classes on soft skills such as customer service. And at the end of each program or video course, you can get a certificate at the end of the class, which you can link to your LinkedIn account, so potential employers can see your skills. Learning Express Library is a library database that offers tutorials on computer software like Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and also specific skills for job seekers like interviewing skills and resume creation. If you're interested in a particular job that has an entry test, such as nursing, civil service, police, or firefighting, there are also study guides and practice tests to help you pass. Testing and Education Reference Center is another tool for job seekers offered through the Columbus Library System and is similar to Learning Express Library in what they offer, meaning career and job seeking advice, resume instruction, and career specific exam preparation. And remember, check the library for classes that might fit as well. Many of them are doing online classes at this time. Right now, the Western Republic Library has tutor.com, which besides having things for students of all ages, also has a service available for those who are job seeking. On tutor.com, you log in through the Westerville Library. You can create an account. And you can choose the job services. There's job help. And it can help you with both finding a job. And it can help you with all of these services, from job search strategies to reviewing your resume and cover letter. This is an in-person I should say, virtually in-person service where you will talk with a live person to go over your resume, cover letter, or whatever you need in your job hunting endeavors. And again, before Tutor.com can review your resume, first you have to create one. And as a reminder, Google Docs, Microsoft Word, and OneDrive.com online all have access to free resume templates. So do not do this from scratch. All of the templates will even tell you what to write. And finally, don't forget about the librarians and the library in your search for a job. We have classes like this one on a variety of job-related tasks. These can include resume classes, software classes, and many more. And if you're not finding the results that you want on Google or any other site, 
call the library and we can give you suggestions that might produce better results. Also remember to contact us if a library database you're using, such as Lynda or Learning Express Library or any other, isn't doing what you want. Answering those questions and helping you navigate the resources is literally one of the reasons why we're here, and we are happy to do it. Thank you for watching today, and please try out all that you have learned. Feel free to contact the Westerville Public Library's Adult Service Department with any questions you might have or if you just need more information. Have a nice day.